الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ايها الاحبة may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve you forgive you grant you guidance and rectify your condition and your affairs and all of us ameen ya rabbil alamin and the muslims everywhere ya rabbi subhana ayu lahabba it's imperative that we never become boastful and pride about our deeds and how we're living our lives even if we feel that we're doing good deeds and that if we want to follow and traverse the path of the salaf of this ummah the pious predecessors rahimahumullah jami'an wa radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ala awalihim as-sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum majma'in that if we want to follow their path and their methodology then really that requires taqwa Allah azza wa jal because in fact the way they feared hypocrisy as was narrated about Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that he feared that he was on the list that was given to Hudayfa bin Yaman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu about who the hypocrites were he was sure that he was on that list and this is how the Sahaba were about sinfulness radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in they were fearful of sin whereas we see sin as if it were small gnats or flies and we brush them aside and continue on in our day and continue on in our sinfulness listen to this narration on Hassan al-Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala qala fi ibana al-Qubra li ibn li ibn Batta قال حدثنا إسحاق بن أحمد قال حدثنا عبد الله قال حدثني أبي قال حدثنا مؤمل قال سمعت حمال من زيد يقول أخبرنا أب أيوب قال سمعت حسن يقول والله ما أصبح على وجه الأرض مؤمن ولا أمسى على وجهها مؤمن إلا وهو يخاف النفاق على نفسه وما أمن النفاق إلا المنافق. This narration of Hassan رحمه الله تعالى should drive fear, a stake in our heart, out of fear, and it shows us how the salaf they had, uh, they were between خوف and رجاء. That they hoped for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they feared the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the same time. And this is the affair of the mu'min. Al Hassan, he said, he swore by Allah, he said, Wallahi, that a believer, that you won't find a believer on the, on the earth during, who wakes in the morning, nor in the evening except that he fears hypocrisy for himself and no one feels free from hypocrisy except the munafiq except the hypocrite this is a very powerful statement by al hasan rahimahullah ta'ala and it shows us the status of the Salaf and the, the, the state of the believer of how the mu'min should be and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the mu'mineen and not be light with the sins that we do and not be light with the aspects of hypocrisy that creep into our actions from time to time and creep into our statements from time to time and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve our hearts from hypocrisy and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.